Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and today I'll be doing a message for the sign of Virgo. As always Virgo, all of the readings are timeless. So when the message finds you and resonates and it is yours at the time in which you find it. Uh, Virgo, you might be able to hear it in my voice, <laughs> but I've been uh, definitely under the weather. So that's why your reading has taken so long because I'm just trying to, you know, uh, pull my energy back together. So I can barely hear myself because I have a lot of congestion. So bear with me. Um, your reading, Virgo, seems to be a very specific reading. Um, <clears throat> you're going to know if this reading is for you. Uh, <clears throat> it is... I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do just justice. Okay. So a couple of things have happened in this reading. Uh, it seems to me like the, the, you know, how I usually do like the underlining, the overall energy in the bridge that is not happening for this reading. This reading, um, <clears throat> well, it looks like, Honestly, it looks like two people in in like a, uh, like a like there's some type of judgment being applied. There are two people that are being represented and judgment is being applied. Um, it kind of has a feeling of like a court case, if you will. Um, so the <clears throat> the energy for this reading is represented by by these two cards. I want to say that these are kind of like representing the the underlining the overall energy of your of your of where you are currently. And so we have the 10 of cups and we also have the 10 of Hang on, I'm thinking of uh this is coming out the Ides of March, like Brutus, you know, and Brutus, Brutus and, and crew, if you will, uh, go and like stab Caesar. And he says, et tu Brutus, you know what I mean? Like that. So this is the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So what it's talking about is like some one who you would normally think of as the Ten of Cups is is bringing you a ten of swords um and it's it's confounding it's con like it's almost not understandable it's not understandable it's a, it's a very confusing and confounding energy um i'm not saying that anyone is like coming and like stabbing you in the back or anything i mean very well it could it could feel that way but it's as though it's just unexpected. Um, it's very unexpected. And, and especially with the 10, the 10, 10 numerology of it all, it's, there is an application of judgment that is being applied here. I mean, <clears throat> at the center of your reading, we have actually judgment. This is the center of your reading. And what I, and it is, it's 20. Like when you look at the Roman Roman numerals, Roman was Caesar. That was Roman. That was Rome, right? Yeah, that was Rome. Okay. <laughs> so there has it has something to do with like I was gonna say like the empire ending, but it's not necessarily the empire. It's like the. It's kind of like the dynasty. It's like the dyna like the dynasty ending. I guess it's what that what that's called. I'm not sure if that's the right terminology for it. But you know, you have a leader in, right? And then they get whacked, if you will. Um, and you know, there's like a, there's a turnover. There's a turnover. And that's what this is talking about. So in the in judgment, you know, we see there's the Roman numerals, there's this is twenty. But it's 10, 10, and there's 10 of these. There's, well, there's five on one side and five on another on the other side. So it's talking about 10, 10. There's a turn, 
there's a turnover, there's a turn of events. And that's what seems to be unexpected for you, Virgo, is that it's turning from the Ten of Cups into the Ten of Swords. Um, <clears throat> and it's like, it's over. There's something, it's, 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 the judgment that's being applied here is that it's over. There's something that is complete, especially with the tens. It's reached its full, it's reached the fullness of what it was capable of reaching, like in the Ten of Cups. It's reached the fullness of its emotional fulfillment. And now because it's reached that fullness, it's it's time to start new. So it's almost like I, I'm kind of getting an image of like the Ace of Cups is what will is what you will see down the line. But in that transition, there's a Ten of Swords that's experienced. So it's an abrupt ending to a whatever situation you're in. Okay. So I think that that is a pretty good. I kind of want to get a bridging energy. I want to get a bridging energy. I want to see what that is. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. Um, six, nine, six, three, nine is what I just saw on the clock. And that's talking about there is a there is a a balance that is going to be well, it's going to be altered. The balance is going to be altered. There's is something outside of your control especially with the three because the three talks about a catalytic change that cannot be affected by anything else so like a divine orchestration if you will and then the nine talks about it's coming to a close there's a close that's happening so six three nine what happens next is that rebalancing energy so there is like a it's kind of it's going to come in there's there's a full circle. There's a full picture that is going to come into play for you. And I want to say that that is down the road. Let's get an, oh, let's get an overall, not an overall energy, the um, bridging energies for Virgo. The world, the world. So that's what I'm talking about. There is, there is going, there is an ending that is going to come into a brand new beginning. You don't yet see this beginning. Look how gorgeous she is. Sorry, I'm just noticing how, how beautiful she is. Um, there is an ending that is, it's going to birth a, a brand new beginning for you. You're not seeing that yet. You're not seeing the, <clears throat> the bridge or the, the way to get to an, this new, I want to call it a new world, especially because, you know, this is, this is the Luna Tarot. So this is the newest edition that I've added to the, uh, triple, triple stack deck. Um, and it's talking about a new world. It's like, you, you're not yet seeing the bridge into the new world. You know, and this, after judgment is applied, because this is 21, so after judgment, there's the new beginning. Okay. Let's get into the read. So, what I'm seeing here, at the center of your reading, I'm trying to decide how to, how to start this. Because there's two sides here. <clears throat> At the center of your reading is judgment. And this is coming up as that divine orchestration. There is an orchestration at hand, which is why you may feel like um, it's out of your control. Like it's something, it's a judgment that is being applied 
I want to say to you, perhaps maybe from the other party, or you know, it can also be by vice versa. So either way, there's there's judgment being applied, um, decisions are being made, and there the decisions that are being made are final. It's final in like once this decision is made, the effects of it will be final. So it's like there's there's no going back. There's no going back to what was previous before. So, you know, once <clears throat> once this Ten of Swords happened, there's no going back to the Ten of Cups because it's already it's already full. It's already at complete capacity. So there's it's like there's nothing left there. There's nothing left. So you can't go back. And it feels like you, like, like this is happening to you because there's something, there is something around you that is occurring for you. You might not see it that way right now because you can't yet see the world. You know what I mean? You can't yet see the new world but it's happening for you. What's, what it's, well, it's happening for both of you. That's what I wanna make this distinctive here is that whatever this judgment is, it's happening for the both of you. And the, the reason why it is happening, it seems because there is, a, um, there is an ascension that is, is necessary to take place. <clears throat> And in order for that ascension to happen, it's like all of these things need to be wrapped up. It's like a, there's a bunch of stuff that needs to be wrapped up, like this 1010. All of this needs to be wrapped up so that the ascension, the ascension into your new world can occur. And now it seems like it's occurring for you, Virgo. And it's also occurring for whoever this other individual is, okay? So I'm seeing both of you, you're both represented as uh, these two queens, the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords. So I think that this, this one here, the queen of pentacles is you Virgo. It's coming through with a, um, with an earth energy, right? And then we have this one here is the queen of swords. Um, and she is representing like an air energy. Um, if you want to, if you want to actually do like the signs and all that stuff, um, this is like Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and this is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So we have an earth and air sign that are, they are coming. Um, it's almost like I'm seeing like, I'm seeing like, it's like two parties coming up to be judged if you will like that they're going to like a court proceeding or something something along those lines there's it's like it's very much like a yeah some type of court court hearing or something along like that because and i say that because you both are <clears throat> you're both being represented so we have we have both of you and you're both being represented by um, two, it's like two forms of justice. Two forms of justice are both coming to represent you. Um, it's almost like these are, these are like the lawyers, if you will. These are like the lawyers. You could also see them as, um, if we want to, because that's a very like practical way of looking at it. Um, we can also look at this as like, these are your higher selves, um, your higher self for the, for the air sign for the air is represented as, well, let's, let's talk, let's, let's talk about them first. All right, let's talk about them first. So <clears throat> 
they're being represented by this form of justice. It's like there's two different forms of justice that are being um, demonstrated here. This form of justice is, well, it's very final. You see how both of these swords here are like planted. They're very planted in, in the ground. Whereas when we look at your form of justice, your sword is, well, it's not planted in the ground. It has a more flexible energy to it. Like in a sense, in a sense, it's kind of talking about like how you could see yourself going back to whatever this was previously. Like, okay, so that then makes me, it, it is, that's what makes me feel like this was brought to you. Like whatever this was here, this form of justice was brought to you because you're you're in a state of where you're kind of, you're wanting to go back to the ten of cups, but there's a final finality to it that is you can't go back, and that's what this one is bringing to you. There's no there's this one is bringing in a message of there's no going back. Um, <clears throat> their their form of justice um, is very balanced. Their form of justice is balanced because the scales are even with each other. Whereas your form, you see, you have these scales. They're, they're smaller in size, but they're also not balanced. It's, a, it's like the justice that you are receiving in this in this, uh, I was going to call it like an altercation, in this scenario is unbalanced for you. There's something about it that is not balanced. It's, it is also flexible. So it's like, <clears throat> it's not a black and white, like issue. There's gray in here. And I'm just noticing how like her hair is like, white and this is black so it's like so for them though it's it is more firm it is more like a like a yes or no it's either yes or it's no whereas for you it there's a little bit more flexibility there there's a little bit more um wanting to um reach an agreement wanting to come to an agreement Maybe perhaps like if we're, if we are talking about a court case or something, almost like wanting to settle something out of court, outside of court, like wanting to reach an agreement outside. Whereas this one is, it's kind of coming through with a message of like, it's all like all or nothing. It's a very um, absolute type of judge, type of judgment. It's very absolute. Okay, so that is, it's like that is their representative. That's their, or their, um, it's like, it's like both of your higher selves are coming in to represent you. Uh, yours is, <clears throat> is willing to make, make an agreement, whereas theirs is, is not, it's just not, not willing to bend, not willing to fold. So with this Queen of Swords, there is something here about this White Raven. The White Raven talks about prophecy. This is the White Raven here. The story that the cards are, are telling me right now is that the Queen of Swords has known in advance of what this justice would will be. There's some type of like, like she's received 
message and that could actually it's actually like it could be from her higher self has received a message of what justice looks like for her in this scenario <clears throat> and it's coming through with the white white raven so it's like it's like a prophecy white raven talks about prophecy for me so they've known this in advance and you on the other hand you know with this 1010 the ten of swords ten of cups it seems like it was brought to you like all of a sudden it's like they are if if we go back to that um example of like brutus and caesar they're it's like they're brutus they knew in advance that this is the move that they would be making. And I want to say that it is, it is a justified move because there is a divine orchestration at hand here that is trying to move both of you into a new space. And it just seems like they seem to be the initiator of this happening. Whereas for you, it seems like it's happening to you. Because, you know, they have their white raven. You have this owl. And you see how like, <clears throat> the white raven has already white raven has already like moved from this justice and into the queen of swords card so it's almost like it's like it's flown from justice into the queen of swords whereas for you virgo that owl is still in the justice it hasn't yet made its made itself known to you Hang on, I'm navigating this owl energy. The owl is talking about, well, the owl talks about an incredible amount of discernment. So the reason why you, it's almost like it was being shielded from you. There's something about that you were not given the information like ahead of time there's something about that that it was it's there's some there's some type of benefit about that <clears throat> like you like the information was held from you because it would have activated your owl senses which is talking about your ability to be able to discern um mm. Your ability to be able to discern their plan, their plan. Well, and if you were given this owl, what I'm feeling is that you would not be as flexible. <clears throat> there's something about that there's something about how your flexibility in this in this situation is necessary and if you were to have the discernment it's like you're being shielded it's like your your vision or something is being shielded if you were to have that discernment available to you, you would, you would then have like a, you would then have a black and white or an absolute, um, way of approaching this. And it's almost like you weren't given that because 
there are two, it's like there are two different ways of receiving justice. There are two different ways. One is more of a of a, a way like it's like your way is could be could be characterized as maybe like um what do you call that? Oh my god, it starts with a C. Hang on. Uh compromise. Your way would be more compromising. <clears throat> and if you were to compromise in this scenario, it's almost like that would prevent you from moving, moving into this justice energy, moving, not justice, moving into the judgment. And it's the judgment that it's necessary to get you into this new world. So it's like, it's almost like if you knew in advance, it would, it would almost like, uh, you would have done something, you would have done something to prevent this from happening. I hope that makes sense. It's like you, you would have done all that you could do to prevent this from happening. Like if Caesar knew that they were going to coup and go against him, he, well, maybe, <laughs> but he would have done what he could have, he could have done to prevent that, you know, like satisfy them, um, that type of stuff. He would have done what they could have done to prevent this from happening. And it's like, if that was given to you, you wouldn't be in a in the prime position to move forward into a new world. You wouldn't be flexible enough. It's like there's something about the flexibility that is actually beneficial for you. Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and pull some more cards because I, I, I want to see why is it, why was it so important for you to not be given this information? Like, I want to figure that out because it, it does seem like both of you are moving into this new world, but why is it so important for you to be more flexible, whereas this one is inflexible? Okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> 